establishment tool and rhino senator Marco Rubio doing the rhino thing. Rubio tweeting last night that, quote, various domestic terror groups on both far left and right are instigating and committing acts of violence and looting. Rubio did not name any of those terror groups that uh, he decided to uh, conjure up. Uh, in point of fact, the only named groups that uh, we are aware of are all left-wing and principally Antifa groups. Joining us tonight is Jim Hansen, former U.S. Army Special Forces, president of the Security uh, Studies Group, a national security and foreign policy think tank. Good to have you with us. And Steve Rogers, Trump 2020 advisory board member, retired police detective in New Jersey, former FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force member. Steve, good to have you with us. Uh, Jim, let's begin with you. A and Marco Rubio, who now is head of the Intelligence Committee in the Senate, uh, talking about far left and far right. I mean, it's a kumbaya moment that you would never expect, given the the civil unrest, the rioting, looting, arson that we are witnessing in this country right now. Uh, your reaction to the senator's comments? Rubio's not showing a lot of intelligence, Lou. There is absolutely zero evidence that any right-wing groups sure. have done anything related to this entire nationwide riot spree. Like the leftist groups, as you mentioned, have been yeah. going berserk, and they've been burning and looting and busting people's heads open. And in a couple cases, they've killed police officers. But instead of focus on that, he wants to play both sides in a very misguided attempt to try and placate people you can't placate. They need to see force, not kumbaya, as you said. Steve, your reaction. Lou, President Trump has won universal praise across this country from black people, white people, Hispanic people, you name it. He won praise from the people for what he did today in telling those governors that they need to step up and they need to fight. He called out Antifa for what it is. Uh, and, and Lou, the surrendering of a police station? My goodness, I've never seen that in this country. So now we have a president who seems like he's standing alone in this fight, but the people are letting him know that they're with him. You both are familiar with the forces at work here, and suddenly Susan Rice shows up on Sunday television talking about a Russia-inspired uh, uh, chaos and mayhem. Jim, uh, this, is, this is stunning stuff, even from a certified liar like Susan Rice, uh, who will never live down uh, the infamy of all she said about Benghazi. Susan Rice might be the most shameless liar in a collection of shameless liars of Obama's minions. I mean, I always thought Ben Rhodes was his go-to liar, but apparently she's going to be the one who keeps going. Lou, this is a domestic problem. This is a domestic terrorist group, as President Trump rightly pointed out, and now he's put loose some of the tools that the Patriot Act allows us to do to work with a diffuse network of individuals who are trying to do evil, trying to overthrow our way of life. And we need to be able to have a nationwide, coordinated, integrated effort by all of our law enforcement agencies to track them and find higher level crimes than the vandalism and petty crimes they've been charged with in the past. We need to throw them in prison. And it seems that uh, Attorney General Barr means uh, Steve Rogers to to do just that, uh, to prosecute with the full force of the law. And uh, Lou, you just said the key words, the full force of the law, overwhelming response, the word overwhelming. And the attorney general and the president has talked about that. They've got that right now, uh, because of the way these governors and mayors have been, the police are outnumbered. We have to outnumber these domestic terrorists and they have to be arrested. And because of all that we are witnessing and have witnessed for a week and all that the, the unfortunate people who are suffering as victims of this uh, rioting and looting and arson uh, inspired, they said, by the death of uh, 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 George Floyd. You know, not one single national news organization that I'm aware of is investigating why in the world this this mayor of Minneapolis uh, is not being held accountable for his outrageous failure uh, to be both responsible 
uh, and compassionate. Uh, it's an extraordinary story of uh, ineptitude uh, and, and, and shameless blame shifting, or at least attempted. Jim Hansen, Steve Rogers, thank you both for being with us. We appreciate it. Breaking news.